Yo, yo, just a real quick tutorial, man. I want to show y'all how to properly do your 808s, how to tune your 808s. I've been hearing a lot of beats lately. A lot of people, you know, they just do whatever. You know what I'm saying? That ain't the way, man. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to get your 808s on key real, real quick. So a few things to remember. The first thing to do is whether you're working with a sample, whether you're working with your own original piano loop or a different loop, you want to identify the key of that loop. And I'm not a piano player, a professional, you know, musician per se, but I mean, I do have an ear for music and I'm gonna teach you how to kind of develop an ear for music. You wanna listen to the loop or listen to the sample, you know, and try to re-sing or re-hum, you know, one of the instruments, whether that be the string or the melody, and that will kind of point you in the, in the direction to which key it is. So you know, let's listen to this. <laughs> Now, I can't sing, I don't play the piano like that, but if you have an ear, you can really hear clearly that the bass is going doom, 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 doom. And you gotta be able to at least, you know, have have an ear at that, you know, simple simple uh, point to which you can, you can hear the instrument and what it's doing, because what you're gonna do is open your piano roll, you wanna use the 808, that's uh, rooted in C, and what that what I mean is that it starts on the C. It starts wherever the C key is. Well, as soon as you press the 808, that's that's what key is playing because that's the easiest way to try to get the key in sync. You know what I'm saying? So basically, you want to just go up until you hear that same do do do. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's, not it. that's it. Da, da. Now we found the key. It's E. It's that simple. That's how you find the key. You know what I'm saying? And pretty much you want to have your 808 go in the same pattern as your kick drum. So, you know, this is the kick we're using. This is the drum loop we're using. So your bass may not play an exactly, you know, scale is his, like, dun, dun, dun. you're going to use the same key, but it's going to play in the scale, you know, meaning the timing of it, when you, when you put the 808, it's going to go wherever the kick goes. So every time a kick goes, you're going to have, doom, doom, and when it went up to doom, 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 this is the, the up key. You can hear it. So like, and then it going back to C. So, uh, duh, I mean, not that C, it came back to this C. So I went, duh, 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 duh. you know what I'm saying? You don't have, have to know how to sing, but you gotta have an ear. You have to know what the bass or the instruments is doing. You have to be able to identify on this scale the exact keys. And basically, this is, this is the pattern we play to go exactly along with the kick. See what I'm saying? It's basically the same, it's doing the same thing that the sample is doing, but it's doing it on the timing of the kick. You know what I'm saying? If you really, really want to get jiggy with this shit, you don't leave it in the same, you know, you know what I'm saying, on the same scale the whole time. Like you may leave it in the same key, but you might want to take one of the eight ways and you know, hold command, highlight, and press up and make sure it, you know, it goes on a different scale just to, you know, just to trick it out a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I didn't put that on the right timing, but you get what I'm saying. And you never, down here on the control tab, you never want your velocity to just be the same way the whole time. You know, that stale is going to sound real computer-based. You want to switch it up however you want to do it. Maybe have your first one pumping and the second one, the volume a little lower. This is just the volume of each, you know, hit. And I, we're going to do it real quick. That's basically, you know what I'm saying? The basic, basic tutorial on how to do an 808. It's the same thing with the bass. You want to start with a good 808. Download the Armani DePaul All Unique Kit. You know what I'm saying? I got that Beast Boy 808 up in here. You know what I'm saying? Going stupid. And basically, that 808, the Beast Boy 808, is rooted in C. You know what I'm saying? Meaning, when, as soon as I press on the sound, it's the C key. Because, you know, that's the easiest way to kind of go along with the scale of the sample. You know what I'm saying? If y'all don't get that, maybe y'all need to develop y'all ear a little bit. Uh, you know, take some basic singing lessons, just kind of learn how to hum along with the loop 
are the sample. And don't be lazy. Don't be quick with it. Once you hum along with the loop and you identify the key, it's real easy to get your 808 and key. Even if it's not rooted in C. If 808 is rooted in E, it may be different keys that you're pressing, but you can hear you can hear if it if it blends with the sample or if it doesn't blend. Just play the sample as you play it. You should be able to hear it that it's off. You should be able to hear that it's not going along. It's like if somebody was singing and then somebody came behind them and tried to sing a harmony and was totally off. You should be able to hear that, man. I hope that helped, man. See you in the next one.